Hi guys, I'll be uh, making this video to, uh, today because uh, uh, I know there are a lot of you guys have the same question. Is it possible to use a tapered fork like this one on a non-tapered edge? Uh, I've searched uh, the internet for some uh, info installation tutorial but uh, unfortunately nobody has uh, made a video that's why I'm uh, going to be making this video today is to show you uh, it is possible to install a tapered port to a non-tapered head tube okay anyway this is the uh, frame I mean the fork that came with my bike from uh, when I bought it from a local bike shop it has a um, straight straight steer one and one eight inch and I'm gonna be replacing it uh, it's a Suntour XCM anyway and it's crappy that's why I'm replacing it with this one uh, it's a Fox uh, 125 millimeter uh, travel RL and uh, of course to be able to install this one we need a new set of headset and the new headset I got is this one from uh, Superstar it's uh, Paper Tech 44 And I just had the uh, upper and the lower cup pressed to uh, the head tube already. I just went to a local body shop and have this done because I don't have the tools with me. But anyway, here it is. So this Superstar Taper Type 44 comes with a um, zero stop upper cup where the bearing sits inside the head tube and it comes with a lower cup wherein the, the bearing is an external light which means that uh, the bearing sits outside of the head tube the reason for that is because the lower bottom of this tapered uh, steerer is one and a half inch which uh, does not have enough space to create a internal type of bearing inside the head tube. So the solution was to make the bearing external type at the bottom to make it fit inside uh, this uh, standard uh, zero stack head tube and installation is simple you just need to slide this uh, compression ring or a low raise into your fork yeah, you can actually just snap it using just your hands no need to hammer it down using special tools the reason for that is that because it came with this type of bedding right there that kind of bedding we're in uh, let me just take it out okay it's a sealed bedding so the outer race there's a uh, bearing inside ball bearings and uh, inner race so these two are the moving parts of the head, uh, headset so this lower uh, compression ring actually just sits on this one it doesn't slide on this one so it doesn't have to be like uh, the conventional one where you have to you to have to pound the, the 
raise on your fork. Also, uh, you will notice uh, there's a gap in here on the compression there, right there. So when you slide slide the fork into the head tube, it actually presses on the sits tightly on the bearings. So a lot of you uh, be asking, uh, this one might not be possible, but it is possible using this solution. So I'm just gonna slide in the bearing. Fits snugly right there. And I'm gonna show you that you can fit it. I'm sorry. You can make this thing work. And boom, right there. So that's a tapered fork on a non tapered uh, head tube. Okay, this uh, particular uh, uh, headset is designed to work on a zero stock head tube and the top one actually just need to put the bearing, the upper raise, spacers, the stand and that's it. And that's it. The only uh, con on this one is that uh, using this design external bearing is actually it since the bearing is outside of the head tube the fork now sits lower because there's a space in this one this is a 10 millimeter space and uh, it, it, it drops down your uh, fork 10 millimeter or raise your frame 10 millimeter on the front and according to some, uh, they say every 10 millimeter uh, increase, or I'm sorry, uh, drop on the fork would, would mean a one degree change on the angle of your uh, fork. So after I install this one, I'll test this one, see how it works. Maybe I give you guys an update. Uh, how how strong or how good is this set? Okay, this is the uh, finished install of the fork, taper fork on the non-tapered head tube, and you can see I just uh, finished inst uh, the install on, on this part. On the, uh, uh, tighten up everything into spec and you can see you can notice the bike is actually dirty because I just went to the trail this morning to test this setup and all I can say is that uh, I'm very satisfied with this one I think it held up very nice very strong because um, you see after some jumps there's still no loose movement here on the headset also uh, like to mention the, the fox fork is very nice compared to my old one yeah and uh, also I'd like to mention regarding the headset uh, this particular uh, superstar uh, paper tech 44 uh, it actually came with an extra uh, hardware which is a lower race which is this one I'll show you from uh, I actually installed it already on my old fork which is a straight steerer fork 1 and 1 8 inch this is the lower race that came with the set of those head uh, they protect for 4 it's actually called a, uh, a a reducer type of uh, lower race which you can fit on a straight 
uh, steerer like this one. So if I need to switch between these two forks, I just simply slide off the other one and slide in the other one. I don't need to do a uh, uh, a major uh, installation. Like I, I don't need to re replace the headset that would be compatible for the straight one and would be compatible for the tapered one. So I don't need to also remove the cups and then press in the old cups and don't need to do that. I just simply need to slide off the other fork and then slide in the other one. So with this particular set of a uh, headset, it, it, it actually converts my head tube now to be uh, compatible or can accommodate both a tapered uh, fork and a non-tapered fork, which is a, a very cool thing about this one. So in the future, uh, I can easily uh, get a new fork. I just had a, going to have just a little limitation whether to choose whether a tapered one or a straight one because uh, I have a now a headset that would allow me to install either which is a, a very nice feature of this headset okay and uh, I hope that uh, that answers some of your questions and uh, give you a lot of information if you want to do the same thing on your bike I'll be leaving some information at the bottom of the, in the description of this video regarding some measurement especially on this one uh, on the head tube my, uh, my head tube is actually a standard one which has a uh, 44 millimeter bore on the top and the bottom and it's actually uh, kind of like a uh, bottle shape, a Coca-Cola bottle shape. A, a design. Some, some, some of your uh, head tube might be a straight one, but as long as it's a 44 a millimeter bore on top and the bottom, it should fit this headset, and you can install your tapered fork or a straight steer for okay and uh, I guess that's it and I'll just see you on the trail